Right, it's episode 26 of Breath of the Wild. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's the first week of December for Breath of the Wild. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy this December. And, uh, yeah, further ado, let's get into some Breath of the Wild. Hello my beautiful budgies, welcome back to another fantastic video, my name is Gally and welcome back, it's episode 26 of Breath of the Wild. So, of course, we are leaving off of this, where we are going to be, in the last episode we were going to defeat Glamity Ganon, but... This whole episode, we are not going to be doing Calamity Ganon until episode 31. So this was just me trying to set up getting more health. Uh, so we can actually get Calamity Ganon down. Because the entire Calamity Ganon, well, well not Calamity Ganon, but Water Blight Ganon uh, episodes and all of that. Is going to be really interesting by the end of this year. So, you'll have to wait too long to see Water Blight Ganon. Because that will be the final episode of 2023. So, stay tuned for that. It's going to be interesting as anything. And of course, this is me trying to set up for Water Blight. So the next three episodes uh, on this one uh, will be me setting up for Water Blight Ganon. And I believe th episode 30 as well is setting up for Water Blight as well. Uh, so, there it so these next couple of episodes are me setting up for water blight because 26 27 28 29 and episode 30 is or is that as well i believe i could be totally wrong with episode 30 and 31 but i'm pretty sure it's so 26 27 28 29 and episode 30 is first setting up for water blight ganon for episode 30 so yeah, uh, so we need to go and get some tunics and all that. But yeah, episode 31 is Water Black Ganon. Episode 30 is setting up for, for it as well as episode 27, 28. So we are heading into a Kala region for some of those shrines which will help us get enough for Water Blight. So we have a lot to work so of course if you're probably wondering why we went from going into divine beast Faruta and then not even doing the water blight ganon water blight ganon will be coming out very soon just at the end of the year this is just me using whatever footage i've got before water blight ganon because i do have tried to feed water blight ganon after the fact of the previous episode of which it didn't go so well, so this is me trying to set that up. And so I'm using all of that footage for this episode. So this is basically what you saw in between of those if you watched the... Actually, I don't know why I said almost watching the live stream. This was never live. This is just me recording it. So yeah, let's uh, go up here. Yeah, let's get head up here. So this is Kyoko Village. Uh, we've got quite a bit that we need. To, I think yeah, I think we need to head to Kyoko Village to get to Akala. What is happening? 
Oh, yeah, we are going to see the Great Fairy, I guess. Yeah, the Great Fairy is up here. If you... Yep, there she is. So if you talk to the Great Fairy... Boom, there she is. She's, she's the most weirdest character in Breath of the Wild. I mean, all of the great fairies are pretty weird. Even though I only got a couple. There we go. Of course, we can't actually upgrade any armor just yet. Because we still got to try and get some of the items for it. So, there's actually no point in her. That out. So let's head over here now and get some other items. I'm not so sure why I went here. I can't actually remember why I'm here. Okay, I have no idea why I'm in this section. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, oh, is it Octoblings that I got? That I grabbed? Well, I have no idea why I was in this section anyway. Yeah, that is... Yeah, I'm really not sure why I left that bit in to the storyline. Should have done without that majority of this. So yeah, back at the Great Fairy. I think I'm just going to try and take a picture of the Great Fairy. S still nothing to upgrade. So I'm not really sure what to actually do here. I mean, I'm literally, this is me trying to set up for Warp Light Ganon. But of course I can actually do much anyway. So, yeah. Of course we are heading into a car very soon. So let's... Uh, so all of this is uh, me trying to set up for Warp Light Ganon. So, heading back here, the reservoir, he's already tried to defeat Mort Black Ganon multiple times, but absolutely failed. And of course, this puzzle here that you see is uh, actually a Gorwog. And of course, we will probably pop back here in the future for the Gorg when we do that so we're heading over to a cover I think I'm going the wrong way where am I or are we just going to this red Shrine that we need to do. Trying to get into a Kala at the moment. I actually, I have no idea what I'm doing. I think we're heading into a Kala. 
I actually have no uh, I have no memory of what exactly I'm doing. Oh, I literally have no memory of what we were doing here. Because this footage is so old that I can't actually remember the majority of what is happening. I mean, I could sped this up a little bit more, but you know. What exactly is happening? Oh, am I heading to the yellow? Is that what I'm doing? Heading to the yellow shrine. So this shrine here, I think there's a shrine down there. I believe so. Yeah, there's a shrine literally just down there. See that? I think that's where we're heading to. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. Oh, it's another flower thing. It's another, like, Flower maze sort of situation. Okay. This is interesting. Have we done it? Oh. There it is. There's the exit or entrance to Rukum Yag. Alright, oh, I forgot about the shrine. So let's unlock that for later. Do we complete it in this episode? Or do we just leave it there? Then we go into a color. So this red one is what we're gonna leave till later. So now I believe we are gonna see if we can head into a color region. I think that's what we're doing now since we're heading towards Lunaro Tower. Or Decca Trust Shrine. Okay, I was not. Alright, I did a mistake there. Okay, let's get rid of this Levace Horse. Let's get rid of this one. Okay, nice. Alright. Yep, nice. Okay. Uh, Vephos Thorn. Right. There we go. Um, we're heading over here now. Are we heading over to this green area? Is that what we're doing now? I have no idea. Like I said, I do not remember what's in this footage, even though I literally just edited it. But I edit it, but I don't read through what I actually have going on in the footage. Oh, I saved that. Okay. Uh, of course, you've probably seen me save a lot, because if I'm going to die... I rather go back to the last save file. Oh, we've got Red Moon coming up. Alright. It looks like we're going to have another Red... Red Moon situation. Here we go. There we go. There 
alter ego. I could just talk through this so I don't actually need to cut it or let you watch it because you've seen this many times. And you're going to see it a lot through these playthroughs next year. Wetland Stable. Of course, Wetland Stable is uh, going to be important, I guess. Okay, this is why we're heading through this shrine here. This is Q1 Shrine. By the way, I did not realise that I forgot the shrine in Lenewu episode. But of course, here it is. This is Q1 Shrine. Probably most people forgot. Or you're like, why did you forget that shrine? But nah, it's there. Uh, so, that is all of Lenewu shrines complete. Minus this red one, which we'll complete late, sort out later. So, I believe we are heading in, going to try and head into a Akana. I'm not sure which way. Way we can head. I believe we're heading over to this blue one. I'm pretty sure the easiest route to get into it is getting up on top of this mountain, which is where we're going to head to now. So, this is the start of getting into a color. Of course, we haven't won a hell of a lot of build up to get to this point. So, you need to bear with me because there is a lot of unused footage. Why did I drown there? Okay, this is interesting. So we got, we're gonna fly as far as possible to get to this side, and I believe we do have. Yeah, we got the swim one there. We need to head on this side. Being night time is not making it easy. Let's swim up here. There we go. Uh, let's head up here, and I believe we are heading in this direction. I could be totally wrong and totally mistake where I'm supposed to be heading, but I believe we are might be heading in the right direction. All right, there's a shrine there, apparently. Okay, there's a shrine there. So this is going into a Kala. So there's a Kala Tower, which we will sort out later. So remember this view, because this is where we'll be heading soon. So this is a Kala. We probably end up having to head back to that point. There's a shrine down there, which we're probably going to be instantly getting. So at least we, now we know where Alcala Tower is for later. But the next, you know, technically I could have cut here and done 27, which is basically just going into Alcala anyway. So we are heading to the first shrine, which technically is the blue one. Even though technically you saw the other shrine, that could have been the first. So I have no idea what I'm doing with this footage. Oh, wow, alright. This is going to make it a little bit more difficult to get to where I need to be. So 
So now we have to head down here. This is like several video clips stitched together. So we're heading over here. You need to bear in mind, by the time I actually got to there, I realised that I messed up and I had to all go all the way back and uh, it's a complicated mess considering I literally did not know that I needed to get an Octo Bloom to actually unlock the the shrine itself. Of course, we needed to take pictures of all these uh, guardians since that is actually one of the tasks. Boom, 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 boom. By the time I get over here, I realise that. I did a mistake and so one more mountain to go. It's not too hard to like not hit any of the light beams from the guardians. And then by by the time I head up here, I realized that I need an octo bloom. Even though technically by the time I, I forgot, they hardly even gave me any Octo Blooms. I was like, seriously? I literally had no Octo Blooms, so I literally walked all the way down there, got no Octo Blooms, so I have to go all the way back here. Even though I could have literally picked them up. At that point, I was like, oh, why? So I picked those up for money. To pick up some Octa Bloons. And, uh, yeah. So... This is where I'm going to leave you guys in this video because I don't think we even go back in this episode. Okay, we do go back. So of course you saw me do it before, so I cut uh, all of me getting back here away. So... Just because I didn't want to make this video any longer. So here we are. And that's how you get this Kamei Hell Shrine. I didn't realise I actually put this footage in. I forgot that I actually did. Which is nice. So that's Kalmyahal Shrine. There. And then of course in the next episode we will be doing all the uh, Kalmyahal. Uh, getting the Kala Tower. Uh, and stuff like that. So yeah. Episode 27. I believe we are going to be uh, finding a Kala Tower. So, stay tuned for that. So, yeah, let's have a zoom into Link's face. So, that is how you get to this, uh, this shrine. Uh, so, if you want to check over here for more Breath of the Wild content, you can see the previous 25 episodes, and you can check over here for the episode 20 previous 21 episodes of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Tomorrow is episode 22. Check them out. It's uh, fantastic. So, that is it for this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.